Hey, how are you all and welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Grounded 2 dropped recently. Now this game is still in early release and there are a lot of FPS bugs and low FPS issues. So this guide will be covering all of the best settings on your PC as well as the game so make sure to stick around till the end and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, so step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're over here, come down to gaming. Head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off since it is an overlay service, it will hinder with your gaming performance. Go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on since it will be optimizing your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, allowing you to get better FPS. Then click on the graphic settings underneath and enable optimizations for windowed games over here to reduce input latency. Then select advanced graphic settings and for default high performance GPU, select your native graphic card. This will help you to prioritize your hardware based graphics over your CPU based graphics. Then underneath you'll find add desktop app button, simply click on that and go to the download location of your game. For me it would be right over here, double click to open up Augusta and then binaries, WinGRTS and you'll find in the grounded to WinGRTS shipping.exe. Simply click on the add button and then scroll down. Select the game and then for the GPU preference, select high performance over here. Once that is done, simply close it. Step number two is compatibility settings and for that, simply search for Steam on your PC and right over here, you'll find Grounded 2. Right click on your game and then click on manage, then head over to browse local files. Over here, go down to Augusta, Binaries, WinGRTS and right click on your shipping.exe file. Head over to its properties and then click on compatibility. Over here, you wanna have to ensure that disable full screen optimization is checked, then click on the apply button and close it. This will help you to get rid of unwanted input latency. Once that is done, simply close it and minimize this. Next step is fixing all of your packet loss, ping issues and latency while you're playing multiplayer in this game. For that, I would recommend you guys to come to the link in the description below and download your booster on your PC. It's absolutely free. Once you open up your application, it should look like this and it has over 1000 games to choose from, including platforms like Windows, PS and Xbox. You guys can simply search for grounded and you guys can see it is automatically detected the game, select it and that should one click boost your game's performance. This will show you the estimated ping you'll be getting that is straight from your PC to the game servers and no hindrance in between. For added connection you guys can select your server and node but I will leave it to auto. The best part about gear booster is the burger icon. You have to head over to settings and then click on optimization settings and enable optimized RAM after boosting. This will help you to free up unwanted RAM utilized by services in the background to allot it to games and improve the FPS. Once again, I have left a free download link to Gear Booster. Go check it out from free from the link in the description below. The next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and right over here, select your local disk C and then click on the create button. Name it grounded too, just so you can remember it and I highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that is done, close it and close system properties. The next step is grounded to FPS pack, I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. It's very simple to download and you'll find in six simple folders over here. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority. These priorities have a D word value registry that allows you to optimize the performance of your CPU. If you have an AMD CPU, double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU, double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. Second folder over here is grounded to priority in which I have left above normal, high priority and normal priority. For this, I will request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Third one is RAM optimization which does the same thing but for your RAM. You guys have to select your RAM from this preset list. I have 32GB RAM so I need to double click and apply this registry, could be different for you. Fourth folder over here is power plan settings in which I have left ultimate performance power plan. You wanna have to right click and run it as administrator and this will run a PowerShell command on your PC to add a new power plan. To set that as active, double click on power plans and then select ultimate performance over here. Once that is done, it will disable power saving features on your PC and use all of your hardware performance on max. After that, head over to the fifth folder, which is unwanted services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless and keeps running in the background. You guys can double click and disable every single one of them, except if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave these two as it is. And once again, if you want to revert them back, head over to the revert registries folder and turn them on by double clicking on them. 
Sixth folder over here is programs in which I have left screen temporary files.bat. You wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. Once it opens up, press enter on your keyboard and this will delete all temporary and prefetch files on your PC, which will help you to get rid of unwanted waste files. I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Next step is MSI mode utility 3.0. Simply right click and run it as administrator. This software allows us to improve the priority of interruptions handled by our graphic card. For that, simply select your GPU in this list, select the MSI button next to it, and for the interrupt priority, select high. Click on apply and that should be it. It is absolutely safe and I would recommend you guys to do it. Once that is done, simply close the programs folder. Next step is msconfig and for that, press windows and R key to open up run and type in msconfig over here. This will open up system configuration where you guys have to select boot, Click on advanced option and select number of processor. Choose the maximum number of processor available over here. Click on OK and select no GUI boot. Click on apply and then head over to the services tab. Select hide all Microsoft service and then disable all kind of browser update services, RGB and fan control services and make sure that they are turned off. This will reduce the number of processes being consumed by your CPU and allowing your games to perform much better while you are playing it. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that open up task manager. Simply search for task manager and open it up and once you're over here head over to the fourth tab that is the startup apps and disable all kind of unnecessary animations which you do not use right after the boot of your PC. Some of these applications might involve Epic Games Launcher, Battle.net so you wanna have to right click and click on disable, Chrome.exe because you do not use it until you want to. So yeah, disable all of the unwanted applications and this will significantly reduce your BIOS time and also reduce the number of applications running on your PC right after the boot. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is changing your game's config files. And for that, press Windows and R key together and then type in app data over here. Enter and head over to local and then open up the Augusta folder. Double click over here, head over to saved, then config and then win grts and you'll find the game user settings.ini. Right click on that and head over to edit in notepad. Once you're in the notepad, you'll find scalability groups. And over here, your resolution quality, I have set this thing to 90, but it's absolutely your own preference. Other than that, you need to ensure that every single setting over here is set to zero. Once that is done, press Ctrl and S key together and simply close it. And now you guys have to drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to options. Over here, come down to display and then you'll find your window mode. I would recommend you guys to go with full screen and your resolution should be your native monitor resolution. Now the game itself does not offer you a lot of options to manipulate and get better FPS. So I'd recommend you guys to reduce the render scale from 100 to 90 and see if that gives you better FPS. Now this will in turn lead to quality loss. But if you guys are struggling with FPS, this is the best bet you can have. For quality, you guys can go with low or medium. Works absolutely fine. Frame rate limit, I've gone with unlimited. However, you guys can set it according to your monitor. So if you guys have a 60 hertz monitor, go with 60. If you have a 120 hertz monitor, go with 120. For 144Hz monitor, go with 160 and if you guys have over 200, go unlimited. Depth of field should be set to low, VSync should be turned off, Gamma should be set to your monitor's preference and then for the motion blur, go with all the way 0 and chromatic aberrations off. FOV, I have gone with 80, however, you guys can keep it 90 as default. Press your escape key and now you guys can see you should be getting better frames and smoother gameplay experience. So that was it for this video guys. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash that subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I really appreciate your support. Also, if you guys are not a channel member yet, consider getting the membership to support the channel and we'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Verifox and peace out.